people who believe that the earth is flat cannot possibly be talked into seeing that it's round because they know it's flat. Because can't you see? So what you do is this. You say, let's go and look over the edge. Wouldn't that be fun? But you see, to be sure that we do get to the edge, we must be very careful not to walk in circles. So you perform a discipline. You go steadily and rigorously westwards along latitude 40 or something. And then when you get back to the place where you started, he is convinced that the world is at least cylindrical. Because what is altered is not the way your senses perceive. What is altered is the, what you think about it. Your definitions of what you see. Your evaluation of it. So when you don't cling to it, when you have no longer a hostile attitude to the world because you know the world is you, it is. I mean, let's take it from the point of view of biology. If I describe the behavior of a living organism, I cannot possibly describe that behavior without simultaneously describing the behavior of the environment. So that I discover that I don't describe organisms in environments, I describe a unified field of behavior called an organism environment. It's an awkward word. But there it is. The environment doesn't push the organism around. The organism doesn't push the environment around. They are two aspects or poles of the same process. And so you have to understand that this attitude towards nature, seeing the fundamental unity of the self which manifests it all, is not an attitude as a missionary is apt to suppose, which denies the value of differentiation. You must understand the principle of what are called identical differences. Take a coin. The head side is a different side from the tail side, and yet the two are inseparable. Take the operation of buying and selling. Selling is a different operation from buying, but you can't buy unless somebody sells at the same time and vice versa. This is what is meant by the underlying unity of opposites, what is called in Hinduism Advaita, or non-duality, or when the Chinese use the word Tao, to designate the way of operation of the positive and negative principles, the yang and the yin. It is not a unity that annihilates differences, but a unity which is manifested by the very differentiations that we perceive. Just as it's, it's all polar, it's like the two poles of a magnet. Different, but yet one magnet. 